When we mention mutations, we automatically think about our favorite phantom superhero, team of Ninja Turtles, or a school designed for mutant superpowers. Why not mutant fish with three eyes, or perhaps people with six eyes in the near future? As fun as that sounds, all of these mutations are out-of-the-box media portrayals of mutations. But they do have something in common. Mutations gave them an advantage. Is this always the case? What about a mutation, such as the red blood cell below, that changes the shape of your red blood cell from disc shape to flat and sticky? This is also known as sickle cell anemia. We will discuss this, this mutation and others in this video. But first, let's look at our objectives. Today's Texas Essential Knowledge and skill, Skills, or TEKS, is B6E, where we will identify and illustrate changes in DNA and evaluate the significance of these changes. Our lesson frame, today we will identify and illustrate changes in DNA so that you will be able to derive meaning from a video about DNA mutations and evaluate the significance of these changes in an organism. You'll know you you've got this when you've answered. What are the different kinds of gene mutations and how do these mutations affect an organism? So we have a lot of mutations actually. They fall under two umbrellas. The first one is our gene and our chromosomal mutations. In this video, we'll be talking about gene mutations. So let's delve in. A mutation is a change in the DNA sequence, as you can see up here. You see, there's different nucleotides, right? This may occur in our somatic or body cells, such as our the cells found in our teeth, our blood vessels, our heart, or our gametes, which are our reproductive cells, such as the spermatozoan or the ovum. Mutations occurring in gametes can be passed off to offspring, and it makes sense because there are reproductive cells. So, how can you get the mutation? It can happen through things such as radiation, like the sun. Um, a lot of people, especially with light complexion, they, the sun is very harmful and it can actually cause a lot of cancer. So they have to be careful with that. Or just in lab, that's why we make you guys wear a lot of protective equipment. You can get um, some chemicals can cause mutation. So we want to protect everybody. And it can also happen spontaneously. When it happens spontaneously, it could occur via mistakes in DNA replication. So again, the two categories of mutations are gene and chromosomal mutations. So let's talk about genes. What is a gene? A gene is a section of the, our DNA. So a gene mutation is any change that occurs at the gene level during DNA replication. Um, it could happen during mitosis or meiosis. For, so firstly, we're gonna talk about the frameshift mutation. This is caused by either an insertion or a deletion in a DNA sequence that drastically alters the protein. This causes a, the gene to be read the wrong way. So as we know that um, a DNA sequence is read in three nucleotides, right? And in, um, every three nucleotides codes for an amino acid. Let's talk about the different kinds of frameship mutations. In the first one, we have our original sequence. Um, the sequence is made out of 11 um, nucleotides, right? So with an insertion, it happens that we have one or more nucleotides that are being added into the sequence. So as you can see from here, two nucleotides were added and mutated uh, sequence. So instead of having an 11 nucleotide uh, sequence, now we're gonna have a 13 nucleotide sequence. Um, and the, the what makes it a frame shift is that it, it went from coding TAA, TTG, it's going to go to TAA to CTT, which is a, a totally different amino acid. So from that point on, it's, uh, the protein is going to be way different. So of course, if there's an insertion, the opposite is going to be a deletion. So now we're going to be taking away 
um, a nucleotide from a DNA sequence. Um, here, it's important to mention that it's one or more nucleotides are being removed from the DNA sequence. So look at this. Two, removal, bam, mutated sequence. It went from an 11 uh, nucleotide uh, sequence from the original one to being a uh, nine nucleotide. Way different, different protein from that point on and went from a um, GTC to a CCA, amino acid. All right, so then from there here, we have our point mutation. So instead of uh, having one or more, this is actually going to be just one. And it has a variety of effects of the proteins, and we'll discuss that. So a substitution is any type of point mutation where one or more substituted for different nucleotides in a DNA sequence. So here's an original sequence, and we're substituting this uh, three uh, nucleotides here. All right. Mutated sequence. So we went from a TAACTG to a TAACCA. It didn't change the frame, so it's still the same number of nucleotides, it's just a different amino acid, which could be detrimental or not, but we'll talk about that. So next, an insertion is when you add one nucleotide to the DNA sequence in this case, because remember, we're talking about point mutations. So one nucleotide you're inserting, and there we go. This is a frame shift mutation because you added another nucleotide, so now everything's from there on is going to be read differently. Original sequence, you put it one, insertion. Deletion, opposite, look at that. Taking one away, also a frame shift mutation, way different protein. So deletion, removing. So again, so you can see the gist of what we just went through. We have mutations, our gene mutation and frame shift. You change how the DNA sequence is being read. Point mutation, it could change the, the how it's being read, but it just depends, it varies. So there's something really important that we have to talk about um, mutations. Mutations can either help harm or actually have no effect on the organism. So mutations that help the organism can increase the survival of an individual. Remember with natural selection? If back then there was uh, a bird that had a very short beak and, and it needed this uh, to get this worm, the bird with the short beak would actually uh, die out of, um, over time, right? Because it can't get the food. But if there was a mutation that all of a sudden made the offspring uh, get a longer beak, then the new offspring, the, those could survive and favor the reproduction of birds with large beaks. But it was all cost because of this mutation. And it also increases genetic vi uh, variation. Mutations that harm the organism, it can affect future generations. And um, for example, the one that we were talking about, sickle cell anemia, um, this was caused by a point mutation. And um, it's actually very bad because if it goes from a disc shape to um, this of normal sticky uh, red blood cell, it could cause your red blood cells to clump up and accumulate, and it could actually, like cause you stroke, among other things. We also have other mutations, such as phenylketonuria. Um, this is caused by a point mutation. Cystic fibrosis, which is caused by a frame shift mutation. People with cystic fib fibrosis have um, a hard time breathing, and this is because uh, the lining of their uh, lung airways, uh, they can't clear the mucus. So they have to be on respirators because they have less oxygen going in. So that's just an example, you know, a few examples of how um, mutations can harm you. But guess what? Mutations can actually have no effect. Um, sometimes, especially the point mutations, which is just one nucleotide, um, since uh, the amino acid, uh, the DNA sequence is very de degenerate, um, sometimes um, just by changing that amino acid, it could be the same one, so you can't really, it could be neutral, you know, it's the same one, so it's silent. And the, this actually happens regularly, so maybe you and I already have a mutation, but, you know, we're not mutants, unfortunately. <laughs> not in the, in the cinematical sense. So don't forget that not all mutations are harmful, 
And in some cases, they may be beneficial or silent that you don't even notice you have it. Let's do some practice questions. So the first one, we have our original sequence. It's C-A-T, G-A-T. Um, the mutation makes it go to C-A-T, A-T. So what mutation has occurred? Please pause the video a little bit and think about it. All right, so as you can see, we have removed a nucleotide. And whenever we removed a nucleotide, that is also considered a deletion. So there we go. It's a deletion. Good job if you got it right. Okay, so the original is ATCCAT, and then the mutation causes it to go to ATCGCAT. So what mutation has occurred? You can pause the video now. All right, so we see that um, in the second um, um, coding, it went from CAT to CG, I mean, sorry, GCAT. So you have inserted a nucleotide. This is an insertion B. Very good job. So which of the following would result in a frame ship mutation? Is it A, insertions only? B, substitutions only, C, deletion only, um, or D, insertions and deletions. Pause the video now. Okay, so we're back. So a frame shift mutation um, is uh, caused by insertions and deletions because if you add something, it's definitely going to change um, how you read the sequence from there on. And if you remove something as well, um, it would change how the, how the sequence is read. So a mutation that does not alter the protein production is called a what? You can pause the video now. All right, we're back. So I hope you had time to think about everything that we've discussed. Um, something that doesn't alter the production, the protein production is actually called a silent mutation. When you're silent, you don't notice it, right? <laughs> so just remember that. Um, I talked about silent mutations towards the end of the video. So if you want to go back and check that out, um, review that. So that's a silent mutation. Very good. You can pat yourself in the back if you got it right. Here are my image references. I just want to thank you so much for watching this video. Um, replay it back. Take notes. Um, Email me or comment below if you have any questions. Subscribe to this channel. And um, we, I am looking forward to posting more videos, maybe a continuation with the, um, with the chromosomal mutation video. So thank you so much and stay safe.